Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video here today. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys what you can do with Dumdo, which is essentially a to-do list that you can create and mock things done um, when you when you're pretty much done with them. So. In here, you can see the interface is very simple um, and based with their dumb suite that they have, it's that's kind of what they're going for and I love it. So in here, you can create your list of things you want. So you can, in this case, add multiple lists. You can name the list to be like grocery items or something and, you know, get like eggs and mock them off. And you essentially said, hey, I've completed this or done this. So you can create multiple lists, multiple things. You can add things to your list, delete them if you're like, I don't need this anymore, um, such as like that or just mark them as complete and then you're completely done with your list and whoo, you're finished essentially. So um, it's very simple to just create a you know to-do list like what you wanna get done today and mark it off as you're done. So, um, and now if you're interested in how to actually set it up, it's actually pretty simple too as well. So in here, in the Docker <clears throat> dumbware io slash dumb, dumb do um, repository, it's just a scroll down a little bit. You get to the quick start guide and it's just running their Docker container. So in here, you can see here that we will essentially copy this command. Um, you can copy both commands, but essentially the second one will download the images if they don't exist anyway. So in your VM with Docker installed, and if you're wondering how to create a VM or automate that with Docker installed and like Nginx and all that, uh, check out my automation playlist in the description below. But in here, what we'll do is create a script that will essentially just run the command so that we can just save it on the server in case we ever need to run it again or you know restart it. Um, I will update the command with a hyphen D so that it runs in detached mode in the back end so it's not running in the front end essentially and you, if your terminal session ends it kind of gets into a weird state right. So we'll save that. We'll make sure that this script is executable so that we can actually kick it off. So we'll plus exit start and then we'll run it. So there really isn't too much to it. It's just running the image, letting it download, and then running it. So um, by default in here, it's running on port 3000, but because I have um, Nginx set up with certs, I can do HTTPS. But if you were, if you don't have it, you can do dumb do two dot dragon dot local on port 3000 like this. So you can navigate and get to that. Um, but if you have HTTPS, then you can just do dumb do two dot dragon dot local and it works with TLS essentially um, assigned. So you can see here by default, you can create your list, add things to your list, add things to list, um, and then check them off. So pretty simple to create to-do list and um, get things done and knocked out for your day. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.